What is the most beautiful place you've ever visited? This forest in Scotland. I wish I could remember where. It was near a tall thin castle on a hill with lots of arrow slits in its walls and a spiral stone staircase going up. Maybe it was because I was a kid but it felt like the most magical place. Moss covered stairs that looked thousands of years old in the clearest streams. I'd love to go back but Scotland has lots of woods and castles. Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. USA. You can look at pictures and it's pretty. But in person it is absolutely breathtaking. Feels like another planet. There and other parks in the southwest, Zion. Bryce Canyon in Utah, totally worth a visit. Backcountry Whistler or the mountains in Switzerland. Went to Whistler for a week and got pneumonia for the first three days. But still had the best day of skiing in my life there. Never went backcountry but given how much powder there was in the glades. I can't imagine what it would be like backcountry. We'll have to go back someday and not get pneumonia. Banff National Park. Dingle Peninsula. Ireland. I visited there more than 20 years ago, it was wonderful. I recently heard that the Dingle Dolphin is missing, is that true? We saw him while on a little boat. And he was very social. Sorrento. Italy. Beautiful. Small town in the south of Italy. Sitting there during a summer night. Overlooking the Bay of Napoli. Seeing the city lights of Napoli and Mount Vesuvius right beside it. Words can't describe it. I was there in 2011. It was the year of the 150th anniversary of Italy's unification. One evening. While enjoying that same view. There was suddenly a fireworks show over the bay. 10 stroke 10. The Badlands. I saw a lot of amazing places on a road trip but the Badlands at night with the whole sky of stars. That hits different. That is the best place I have ever been for stargazing. Camped out in the middle of the plains with nothing within miles. Makua Piku. It was amazing. I did the 5 day hike to Makua Picchu and it was the coolest experience of my life. Kind of ruined the experience when I learned people just take tour buses to the top though. It was more crowded than I expected. New Zealand. The whole country is beautiful. Even the places they think are boring. The South Island has stupidly beautiful vistas. It was difficult driving around and not being distracted by the landscape. I adore New Zealand. Been to 50 plus countries and it's still my favorite. Was hoping to go back next year since it's been nearly a decade but hopefully 2022 will be possible. The Faroe Islands. It was just something else. Couldn't really believe what I was seeing and walking through was real. No trees. Steep rocks. The grey North Atlantic Ocean. Foggy weather that could turn into bright sunshine within an hour. Few people on hiking routes. Feeling of remoteness. Prettiest place. Backwards New Hampshire during the fall colors season. Glowing trees. Green fields. White picket fences. Pretty farmhouses. All that. Most beautiful. The panorama of San Francisco and the San Francisco Bay from the middle of the Golden Gate Bridge. Morning and evening. From a distance. All the cities are clean and white. Climbing up the hills among trees. Best commute I ever had. I honestly didn't care if I got stuck in traffic. Because I had that view. There is a place near me. Way I I back in the woods where a long rock stretches the breadth of a large creek. The creek flows over on one side and then turns back to run the length of the rock and then flows downstream. Dad and I used to set on the rock and fish. Years later my wife and I made love there. Osaka. Japan. In my opinion Osaka is one of the ugliest cities in Japan that I have visited. Literally any other city I visited was prettier including Tokyo. Kyoto. Yokohama. Nara. Kobe. ETC etc. Kyoto in particular was very beautiful. Tofino. BC. Canada. What an incredible place that is. Bay of Fundy is the tides change is the most awe inspiring sight I've ever seen in person. Can't even put into words how amazing it was. 
I love the town of St. Andrews in New Brunswick on the Bay of Fundy. I had read about the tides. But to see it happen. To wake up and find the ocean had just disappeared. I'll never forget that feeling. Bed after long day. And I went to Thailand that was nice too. The Great Barrier Reef. To be fair. I found the Great Barrier Reef disappointing. I went snorkeling near Cairns and is was so much worse than the corals that I visited in Komodo National Park. Just my opinion. Lauterbrunnen. Switzerland. Just perfect in summer. Standing at the bottom of the mountain and staring up and seeing the landscape go from lush green to snow capped mountains is just perfect. Porto Katsiki Beach. Lefkada. Greece. I love turquoise waters and this place is as turquoise as it can get. Sydney Harbour. I live here and I've seen it a million times from all sides and it's still as beautiful as it could be. Sydney is just a pretty place. Next up. Going to the Great Barrier Reef for the first time next month. Expecting it to top the list. So far. The waterfalls of Krakar. Croatia. Such a beautiful place, where the waterfalls grow rock instead of wear it away. I was there this year while COVID was breaking out. Practically had the whole park to ourselves. Start in Astoria. Oregon and drive to San Francisco. CA. Amazing drive. Don't forget to stop in Shelter Cove. CA. The Olympic National Park in Washington has so. So many beautiful spots as well. Mosman Gorge. Right on the southern end of Daintree National Park. QLD. Australia. It's got an ecosystem of its own. Due to its sheltered location. Amazing flora and fauna. Slovenia. I went there on holiday just over a year ago and the scenery was fantastic. And the people were all really nice as well. The Red Sea. Specifically. Maybe 10-20 ft below the surface off the coast of the Sinai Peninsula near Dahab. I've been to a lot of gorgeous places around the world but I've never seen anything that comes close to the beauty of those reefs. I just froze in awe as soon as I was under the water. Stunned by the sheer amount of fluorescent corals. Schools of fish. Etc. It was overwhelming in its beauty. And apparently it's even better down towards Jeddah. S. A. But access is obviously a bit tough there. Glendalow in Ireland. Although. My wife proposed to me in the ruins of an old church there. So that might have heightened the experience a bit. A secret limestone cave on the west coast of New Zealand. The rock formations were as fine as spiderwebs and there was a mineral deposit that made everything spectacular colors. This might seem stupid compared to the others. But Shoshone Falls in Twin Falls, Idaho was incredible. A few places in India. I visited the Taj Mahal. But an even more memorable place was a temple. I believe it was entirely devoted to Kali. I was only 7 or 8 so my memory isn't perfect. There was a 3D sort of a tableau behind glass and the sand Kali was stood on was hundreds. Maybe thousands of tiny handmade and painted skulls. I was in India for Diwali and it was beautiful. I spent almost a year backpacking around when I was kid with my mum. Lake Bled. Slovenia. Iguazu Falls. Argentinian side. Brow were scratched. Amsterdam during the summer. Yesterday. After I picked up my daughter from school. We went to Manly Beach. Not a cloud in the sky. Blue water and a warm evening. I do not know about the most beautiful place but it is good enough for me. I went to visit my brother who was stationed in Bayern Germany and we took a weekend trip to Garmisch Partenkirchen. Since we were both military we stayed on base at Billiting. It was dark when we arrived so we grabbed a few beers and hit the hay. When I awoke and flung back the curtains I literally was breath taken by the view of the surrounding mountain peaks. I will never forget that sight. We packed up the car and drove through the Austrian Alps. And I swear I felt like I was touring Middle Earth or some other fantasy land. Northern Manitoba. Such vast empty. Pristine. And touched land with tens of thousands of lakes and rivers it's beautiful especially with a small lake in foreground and forest in the background. 
Sank Terra. Italy. It's an amazing place. With an incredible atmosphere. The villages are incredible. The hikes between them spectacular. It's the kind of place where everybody has that happy smiley touristy or struck look on their faces as soon as they get off the train. Close bracket. The Bahamas. The beaches were beautiful and the water was the bluest. Clearest water I've ever seen. I drove through Colorado once and was really blown away by how majestic it was. I love snowy mountains and trees. Brazil. South Africa and Botswana out in the bush. There are times it looks like Lion King Planet Earth and you just sit there saying to yourself this is real you aren't in a movie TV show. All five of your senses can't process at times the stark differences to living in cities in America. This is super oddball but a diehard sports arena is beautiful in a way. That many people who are that dialed in and focused on one thing is amazing. For example walk into a big college football stadium during a big game and having 100k plus people dressed in roughly the same color scheme and yelling the chants and you feel it in your chest. The ground shakes. To get that many people to do the wave or when 100k plus all take a big breath when the ball's in the air and you can hear and feel it. Before the Rona I went to a number of basketball. Football. Hockey. Racing. Euro football to experience this. Glacier Point. Yosemite. Tied closely with the top of Angel's Landing. Zion. I'm a Brit so these were very different landscapes from what I'm used to. But the pictures look like a green screen. Lake Agnes in Banff National Park. There's a tea house next to a waterfall that empties a bright turquoise blue lake reflecting a horse show of mountain tops surrounding it. Overlooks Lake Louise which is pretty epic on its own. The Canadian Rockies, we knew that Lake Louise would be pretty. And it was, despite being overrun with tourists. But the scale of the national parks was astounding. Banff National Park. Kootenay National Park. Yoho National Park. Glacier National Park. And Jasper National Park are mostly contiguous. Driving on Icefields Parkway, where every mountain seems to have another one hiding behind it, was astounding. Banff National Park, Kootenay National Park, Yoho National Park, Glacier National Park, and Jasper National Park are mostly contiguous. Driving on Icefields Parkway, where every mountain seems to have another one hiding behind it. Yangshao. Gilin. China Rural Moon Mountain for hiking one of the most gorgeous areas and the Li River access nearby makes it unreal looking. Uvila. Spain. I took a train there and the place smelt like flowers and has one of the most intact castles surrounding the city and you can walk on it. I went to Washington state for a vacation and me and my family went hiking along the path with a lot of waterfalls and there was this one that glows in the dark and everything was so green and it was just overall really pretty. I have never visited anywhere beautiful. But I would love to visit Hawaii. That has been a dream for me. The very center of Guanajuato. I went to Mexico a few years ago to visit my family and I went to the center of it and it's honestly beautiful. Since I was there I also got to see the mummies in the museum. It doesn't have a lot of technology but it has a lot of food. Music. People. And my culture. Joshua Tree National Park at midnight. The sky is the most beautiful thing you will see. Rocky Mountains. BC. Canada. A few days hike and a ridge walk up above the clouds where you can see all the stars and little mountain tops poking up above the blanket of clouds. I miss my childhood home sometimes. New Zealand. I went there when I was 10 months and when I was 10 years. Without any doubt the most beautiful place I have been. Bundredi Castle in Ireland. Stay there for a night before renting a cottage at Galway Bay for 2 weeks. Either that or the Gaylord Palms in Orlando when I was very young. I remember. And I can't remember if this was the same property or another location. But we also went to the Gaylord Ice Palace and walked around with these huge jackets on and I slid down and I slide which I didn't like because the bottom had hollowed out slightly and so when I came to the bottom. My butt went into the hollow and all the force of the slide was absorbed by my hips and lower back. It fucking hurt. 
On the way back from a family road trip to Minnesota we had to stop in the picturesque town in western Wisconsin named Silver Springs Lake something. This town was perfect. It was like something out of a Hallmark movie. We drove into the town under an iron gate and the main drag followed a hill down into a shallow valley. Everything along the man drag was a picture perfect building. This was late fall and the entire town was hues of red and orange. We only stopped there because my sister threw up all over the car and we needed to clean her up. I will never find that town again. Man-made. Street. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. The Pietà by Michelangelo is housed there. As is the Sistine Chapel ceiling. But when you first walk in. And see the endless rows of pink marble. Soaring columns. Echoing voices and endless stained glass and tapestries and it's all so magnificent. You totally understand why the church had the power that it did during the Middle Ages. It's just overwhelming and I can't imagine what some poor peasant must have thought walking in there. Natural beauty. The Kilauea crater in Hawaii. You can hike in a rainforest. Then all of a sudden you come out onto this blasted lava plain and you can see steam and even a hint of red magma sometimes coming from vents below. It's awesome. Northern Laos. Did a motorbike trip from Vientiane to Luang Prabang and then up towards the Chinese border. And I remember stopping for a drink of water. Turning around. And being absolutely mesmerized and awestruck by the view. It looked like something out of Jurassic Park. We were at high altitude. So all around us was were thick fluffy clouds. And then down below. This amazing landscape of mountains. Valleys. Jungle. And rivers all softly bathed in sunlight. My boyfriend and I both cried. It was just so achingly beautiful.